Oh, that's sharp, isn't it, that? Morning chatters, morning chatters, morning. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Loud, loud and clear. Loud and clear, chatters. I don't know what accent that was. Look at this lorry crashed into the fence yesterday, so I heard. So now we've got this. What is this piece of rope? I mean, it must be worth money. Look at it. It's like a natural history museum piece of rope. It destroyed the fence. What is that piece of rope? It's like I got it out of the sea and we're nowhere near the sea here. A lot of people wonder what you're wearing today, chatters. You look hilarious. But you're never going to know, are you, viewers? You're never going to know what he's wearing. That stupid dress he's decided to wear today. <laughs> right, what we're doing today, Charles, we're off to Northampton to go and look at a shopping centre. Aaron's prepared some numbers. It's usually my job is to take my job today. Uh, some projections of what he thinks we can do with an indoor golf course. It's difficult for me to analyse this. Well, we won't be doing it for that sort of money, but we go to lots of places, Chudders. We go to lots and lots of places, Aaron and I. And, you know, the older and the more years we've been doing this thing, we, we say no to so many opportunities because there's always another one coming along and if people are not prepared to get down to our negotiations and be fair and they want to be unrealistic, an unrealistic landlord, then we just, we won't bite Chudlington. See this here, Chudders? This was part of our idea to be more productive. This is the back of the Mercedes bus. So we go on meetings. We go in here. Aaron sits over there. And uh, we discuss away. But part of the problem is, we always end up driving together. So we sit in the front. So it's just going to be you, Chudder, sitting in here. And as Mark Creaser says, you sit in here, in the back. Like a prince being driven around like an X Factor judge. We're here in Northampton on sea. It's not on sea, it's just like called Towns on Sea, it's quite nice. Uh, and we're gonna go and check out this uh, this unit. Rattly car just went past. Hi sir, Joe Sinclair. Nice to meet you. Negotiators, I but uh, if that doesn't happen, we will just say congratulations, thank you for your time. Yeah, <laughs> so. no, I get that. Um, and you never get value for money on it. <laughs> but I, 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 we would spend the year and get value for money yeah, on yeah. it. So uh, uh, we're not a retailer, we are someone that will drive unique visitors to them, and they've got to understand that. Uh, so that, that's very important for us. Thank you very much for your time. So guys, just looking at new opportunities here for Party Man. We had a little look around some dingy little warehouse in a shopping centre. I think it could be quite good for us. Uh, we've laid out our terms. We'll continue negotiating to get the best deal. And quite crucially, and I think this is really important, something that we've learned, if we don't get the right deal, we're happy just to walk away and wait for the right opportunity to come up and someone else can take that. Um, and usually what happens is people take opportunities on that we don't take on in our space and then a couple of years later, and this has happened many, many times, they come back knocking on our door saying, oh, actually, you guys were right, uh, and then we get a better, fair price on what we want to do. Uh, so that's what we've done today, Chatters. Be prepared to walk away when the deal isn't right for you. But I think this one could be right. They want to work with us, and uh, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. So you get a bit of compound, a bit of leverage once you've got uh, some reputation behind you, and that's what we shall do. Let's do it. So, guys, uh, you know, the other day I sent you uh, some little images of uh, us building our pirate treasure trail, Northampton, Bat South, Southwood, and Ferrers. Now Aaron's showing us around what we're building so far for the, the children. The Magic of Pirates for May half term here at Marsh Farm. 
rained the last few days. We had loads of sun, then we had some rain, and now everything's growing very, very quickly. So gang, this is the start of our maize maze, which opens for the summer holidays. It's been, tractor's gone in now, these little red things, red pieces of sweet corn. Look at that, look, I can see that. Look, it's already started working that. See the little, um, that's amazing. Look, it's already started sprouting. So I'm gonna throw that back in there and he can get back on to work. And this all fills up and we cut it all up and make it into a maize maze for the summer holidays. Pirates, that's into maize maze actually afterwards, isn't mm -hmm. it? After pirates. Yep. And then our adventure golf course, which we're building this year, so it's getting ready for hopefully Marsh Farm's biggest ever summer holidays. We'll check in in a couple of weeks just to see how good this is once we've finished it. I think this about rounds up, doesn't it, Chudders? This rounds up this day here on Backstage Business episode whatever it is there's so many now i can't even bother to quote how many there are anymore and we'll see you next week back here on backstage business have a great weekend guys Ta -ra.